guess is as good as mine. So, wait a minute. What's the government response to all this? Haven't they sent in the National Guard or something? The government? You don't get it. It's been total chaos. At first, they told us just to stay home, lock our doors, and wait for the all clear. Then the power died. No one ever sounded the all clear. Dad's up ahead. Just lucky, I guess. It was pretty chaotic up at the lake. You're not gonna tell her? I don't know yet. Dude, it's her dad! You wanna confess that we killed her father and stole his radio before they patch you up? Yeah, okay, maybe, maybe we leave that part out. these strangers good you made it that one doesn't look so good name's Ed pleased to meet you come with me son we'll see to those god words. damn it we got enough trouble without bringing in another freeloader to use up all our medicine real nice Alan I offered them shelter I'm letting them in us freeloaders have to stick together girls got the common sense God gave a tree stump you're worse than your brother. Come on, I'll give you the nickel tour.
I spend most of my time here, using the radio to coordinate everyone. Next up's the kitchen. Sam's our unofficial in-house chef, but... Well, there's only so much anybody can do with canned soup and pork rinds. Seriously, though. Rule number one, all the food stays in here and it stays sealed. You wouldn't believe how fast rats get into things otherwise. We learned that one the hard way. Sleeping quarters? Uh, hope you don't mind sharing. We're pretty tight on space here. Alan's been saying we should move to someplace bigger, but my dad's a carpenter, and he says we could build like a dorm room or something to get more space. How many people do you have here? I think you've met just about everybody, except maybe my brother and my dad. They're out scouting for supplies, I think. I haven't heard from them in a while. Rest easy, son. How do you feel? Like somebody took a weed whack in my fucking neck. We may have something here for the pain, but I'm more concerned about this fever. Could be a sign of infection. We'll need to get Dr. Hansen out here. I'll see if I can get him on the radio. Thanks, I, uh, I appreciate the hospitality. Do not forget to entertain strangers, for by so doing, some have unwittingly entertained angels. How about that? I might be an angel. Look, I, I didn't want to say this in front of your friend, but fever is a bad sign. Especially after a bite. Pastor Will's going to try and get Doc Hansen to come down and take a look at him, but if he doesn't get some antibiotics, he's probably not going to make it. If it comes to that, I promise Alan will take care of him. Bullet to the brain before he turns. It's for the best. Jesus, Lily. He's not a rabid dog. Don't you get it? More of us didn't make it than did. We can't be soft-hearted about this. Not anymore. We need medicine here anyway. You can't be sick. You understand? No one can be sick. So that's it, huh? Nice to meet you. Would you prefer to be shot in the face or kicked out on your asses? No, it's... Okay, look, we're barely hanging on here as it is. Medicine was some of the first stuff to run out. We don't have any to spare for your friend. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. What if I find some more? Will that help pay our rent? Yeah, okay, sure. If you can find a place to get more medicine, I'll make sure your friend has a place to stay. His name is Ed. I know. If you need to resupply before you head out, check the locker. Nobody minds if you're getting shit done and you need extra stuff. Just don't take shit you haven't earned. I'm here. Wait, what? There's a cell tower behind the swine and bovine. From up there, you should be able to get a good look at the town. Maybe you'll spot some place to find medicine. I owe you one. Just hurry, okay? I'm not sure how long I can rein Alan in. How did you all end up at the church anyways? Geez, I don't know. At first it just seemed like the place to go, you know? End of the world and all that. Then we started hearing about how bad it was getting. Other people tried to go it alone and ended up... Well, we just sort of stayed here after that. Just the same. No. There used to be 12 of us.
think I can get a decent view from up there. Look around now. Mm -hmm. There's a building we want to check out. Got a horde on the move. I think that place is inhabited. Mm -hmm. There we go. I see some place worth a scavenging run. Mm-hmm. Hey, what's that? Looks like a vet's office or something. Oh yeah, Dr. Gilroy's clinic. What about it? Well, antibiotics for dogs aren't any different than antibiotics for people. And it looks like no one's broken in. <laughs> That's a good idea. Okay, sounds like it's worth checking out. Somebody's broadcasting something. Folks got any room at the inn? You might want to go check it out. I'm sending Alan and... Not right now. <laughs> I'm sending Alan and Sam to meet you at the clinic. Alan? Gee, thanks. It was that, or let him stay here and keep grumbling about kicking you and Ed out. Point. Do me a favor and don't come driving up like a dumbass. What Alan's trying to say is cars make noise. That's like noise. Plus, they don't exactly go on trees. And we... A little busy for that, don't you think? <laughs> what did you want to say? Plus, they don't exactly go on trees. And we only got someone who keep running. So we gotta be careful about what
About time you showed up. Let's get this show on the road. You're the newbie, so you get a bust in the window. The door will make less noise. Or, hey, you could do it like a total fucking idiot. Up to you. Just get us inside. Take this. Gonna need it soon. We got Zed's at 9 o'clock. All right, hop to it. Let's get this done and get the hell out. Try to keep the zombies outside, huh? And who the hell put you in charge? How about years of experience on the beat, huh? How's that grab you? I didn't realize the Department of Fish and Wildlife counted as a beat. Laugh if you want. I'm still the only law enforcement officer on duty in this town. <laughs> yeah, and if we gotta deal with any zombie trout, be the first motherfucker I call. <laughs> We got Zeds at 9 o'clock. Clear out the inside! That's it. Let's ditch this bitch and go home. Let's hoof it, people. Stay low and stay quiet. Bad enough, we gotta make this charity run. Let's not waste all our damn ammo to boot. I'll run this home. Roger that. We'll be waiting. Area secure. No Zeds here. Looks like trouble up ahead there. Try to keep out of their line of sight. Zeds will come check out just about anything louder than a solid smack on the head. But their eyesight's are shit. They can't see you, they can't see you. Will you drop up and get moved? I'm not getting paid to babysit. Excuse me on the hell for trying to keep the movie on that. Keep an eye out to the left. Heads up. Zombies on our left.
Motherfuck, this piece of shit rucksack's coming apart at the seams. At this rate, I'm gonna lose half this shit before we get home. I'll go find us a ride. No, goddammit! Cars are too dangerous, just leave it! Kiss my ass, Alan! Lily needs these meds. Fuck you. Get your ass back here, Alan! Alan! Goddammit! Come on, let's find a ride and get this shit home. Cover me! I'm loaded up. See you back at base. Roger that. We'll be waiting. Area secure. No Zeds here. Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. We'll be ready. Just asking for directions. So, Alan, huh? You bet. He's a shithead, but look on the bright side. He's only about half as stupid as he looks. Plus, he's not half bad in the fight. Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. We'll see you soon. Secure. No Zeds here. Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. We'll see you soon.
Okay, I'm free and clear. Thanks for the ride. We'll take it from here. I found this while I was out. Sweet. We got your cycle for phosphamide, Lily. I didn't see any of that meth or whatever. Hey, you said we were getting antibiotics for Ed. Relax. We got those too. What the hell is going on here? Okay, okay, look. I've got this condition, lupus. It's chronic, no cure. Without medication, your friend needs antibiotics. I need medicine, so I kinda sent you to a place you might find both. So, you used me. I didn't th Just let me know when you find the doc. about a lot of stuff lately, and something occurred to me. We don't know squat. I'm confused. I mean, when it comes to long-term survival. Like, I've got my dad's old notebooks, and I'm sure some people here have at least worked on a farm, but if we had reference material, we could do a whole lot more. What happened? Well, since we don't have the internet anymore, I'm thinking we should start assembling a reference library. Books on gardening, electrical engineering, carpentry, anything we can get our hands on. We gotta start somewhere, right? We've got a chance to trade some goods. So, we've got an opportunity to do some trading. I'll carry the staff and do the talking. I just want to have an extra gun on hand in case things go bad. I'm on. So what do you say? Might want to swing wide. We got zombies to the left. Hey, how are you? Good deal. All right. Hope the return trip goes well. Bye. I'm headed back with the goods. We should get moving. Lead on. Let's roll. Zed's here. Can't do that right now. Zed's up ahead.
looks like trouble up ahead there. <laughs> Zombies up ahead. Go through or go around. <laughs> I'm loaded up. See you back at base. We'll be ready. I'll run this home. We'll see you soon. Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. We'll be ready. Watch behind us. I'm not alone in here.
Heads up. Zombies on our left. Dad's up ahead. Something's still moving around in here. <sighs> we got this place locked down. I'll run this home. We'll be ready. I'll run this home. We'll see you soon. Zombies on our right. Very secure. No Zeds here. I'm loaded up. See you back at base. Roger that. We'll be waiting. Almost there. We'll crack open a found this while I was out. Sweet. There you go. Don't say I never gave you nothing. My hero. I don't suppose you've decided on whether we can join you or not.
How's it going?